Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings with myself Thomas Janak. Today we're looking at the week of March the 5th to the um, to March the 11th 2018 and before we go into the individual star signs we will have a look at the uh, overall energy for the week ahead. We're going into summer saving time on the 11th, uh, the Sunday, but also on the 8th, it's International Women's Day, or Women's Day. Um, and one of the things that is still not solved um, in this world is um, inequality. Um, don't know if it will be reflected this week for the star signs, but we still have a long way to go um, as a species, really. Um, Let's have a look what the overall energy for the week ahead is going to be like. Okay, actually it's not going to be um, a difficult week um, as it were because you have, or we have, everybody has, uh, the coyote and the parrot. And that just means that there is um, love in the air, there is um, meditation um, recommended for all of us to, to meditate deeply and um, to take that edge off the week. That's why we have the coyote, because the coyote is telling us that um, we will all be sustained, there's always enough for us to go around and we will just be fine. Um, so the, the overall message is to uh, spend a lot of your time um, looking within, the, hence the meditation, um, being calm, being peaceful, being um, even, so to speak. And remember that um, we will always be uh, looked after the universe and the guides have got our back so um, what would be wrong this week is to live a life of hectic and stress so if you are in a situation where loads of people are chasing you during the week um, this is not a good week to um, be in it if that makes sense right so um, that's the overall energy for all of us to be calm look within do a lot of meditation, um, which also means that, that um, communication with the guides are easier. Um, let's do everything we can to speak to our spiritual guides this week. And uh, first and foremost, remember that there's nothing to worry about. The universe has got our back. Okay? That was the O4 energy, and now we're looking into the individual star signs, start, starting with Pisces. For Pisces this week, it's really important to um, come out of your shell um, and no longer hide. Um, be who you truly are is quite important this week. Be who you truly are and remember that you will not fail when you are who you truly believe you are. You have to punter, or we have to punter with than Pisces myself, we have to punter and the goat. And the punter by default is, is a leopard hiding inside a punter, so to speak. So the unique dots that a leopard has cannot be seen. Hence, we have to come out of our shell, be ourselves. And the goat is an animal that um, hangs on, on a cliff on two legs and doesn't fall. So it, so it means being steadfast and um, when you're true to yourself, we cannot fail. So it's important this week to, to have a little more faith than we uh, usually have, so to speak. And it is perfectly fine and safe for us to come out of our shells this week and be who we truly are, right? And that means speaking our truth, um, not trying to adapt to situations so much. Um, if you are a person that um, <laughs> wants to impress someone, um, you need to impress them with who you truly are. Don't have conversations um, 
where you um, tailor your answers towards what another person likes, so to speak. Right? So all these things need to be clear this week. Be who you truly are and you will be fine. Okay? Short and sweet for Pisces. Moving into Aries. And as I often say when uh, I do these videos, is that um, there seems to be a pattern and some um, star signs energy, energetically speaking, are actually overlapping. Because we're looking into Aries now and Aries have got a big horn sheep. Uh, it's not a goat, but it's a big horn sheep. And it denotes, again, this whole idea of realizing that you are steadfast and that you will not fall and that you will not fail so and it follows Pisces um, as a star sign quite nicely so um, Aries too can um, sit back a little bit this week and um, just be right and for some people it's quite tough to just be um, but this is why you need to have a little bit of faith the, the second animal guide that uh, Aries have for this week is the golden eagle and as I always say when the eagle comes up the eagle is a bird of prey, is a no-nonsense animal, which means, uh, Aries, you got loads of strengths. And um, also, the eagle is an animal that sees its prey from a mile away. So you see things coming. Nothing is gonna, nothing is gonna be um, super difficult or, or hits you by surprise this week. So, you know, have a, have a good week, so to speak. Have a good week and be yourself, right? Okay. Second star sign with overlapping energy and overlapping messages. And that was Aries going into Taurus. <laughs> and again, like I said every week, I just try to um, film these things a little bit differently. So this this week I I, I go for colors. <laughs> it's nothing specific. I'm not going to have a dance night here. Um, I just want to see you know how it all looks when it's done kind of thing <laughs> but so don't mind me so going into Taurus now Taurus your energy this week um, is quite high and you will be quite supported you have the frog and the scarab and the frog is an animal that is an amphibian he can live on land and on water uh, which means whatever life throws it for at Tauruses this week, you're gonna be just fine. The other thing that, to remember this week for Tauruses is how important you are, right? So um, if you have conversations in relationships or um, in family matters, um, remember how much your opinion makes sense and remember how much your impetus and your input um, can do for the unit that you're talking to, doesn't matter if it is family or, or relationship really, um, just um, don't dim your light, if that makes sense. It's quite important for you to be high in energy and speak your truth the way you feel it um, and you will just be fine. Sean Sweet for Taurus, moving into Gemini. Card falls out, wants to be red. For Gemini this week is too important, it's important to not rush anything. We got the crow and the turtle, and that means that Gemini. Gemini are and is going to changes. The Geminis are going through changes and these changes are important. Let them happen. Um, if you feel that the situation hasn't improved, um, and I know it can be difficult, but the, the message is to let it go. If that makes sense. It's not fixable um, and don't put too much emphasis on it. The idea is just to realize that some of the changes that come to you um, 
not only are they life changing, but they will lead to something better, if that makes sense. And when I say some of the changes, the idea is that, that, that change is important. Um, it's just that some change uh, that has to do with letting people go um, is quite painful. And I, and I get that. So I'm not, um, you know, uh, minimizing the, <coughs> the effect um, that will have on you if you feel you need to let people go, if that makes sense. But sit with it, grieve, let it go, have a good cry or, 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 or uh, numerous good cries, if that makes sense. Um, but allow yourself to sit with it. Uh, because your second animal here today, your second animal guide, is the turtle. And that just means you can take your time recovering from situations that aren't quite working and also the changes that the universe has got for you this year and this week in particular um, you will be able to get through them in one piece and you don't have to do anything uh, about it you just have to keep going even if you keep on going slow or slowly you will just get there right so that was Gemini Moving into Cancer, let's see what we got for the Cancerians. We're looking at the week March the 5th to the 11th, 2018. And just like we had earlier, um, the uh, Cancerians are very much like the, the, um, the Gemini because you too have to grow. So you are also going through changes that are really important to happen. And your second animal is the dog. So this week it's all about you, right? Go through the changes, take them as they come, but respond to things simply by being yourself and feel the way you feel. The dog is all about being loyal. And this loyalty starts with yourself. So be kind to yourself, be loyal to yourself. Um, look within and realize how important it is for you to, to not be talked into stuff, if that makes sense, right? As nice as it is when people have advice, you will get there without advice of other people. Um, and I don't mean this in a wrong way, but um, this is about faith and trust and self-esteem. So look at situations and trust that you will find the answers and you will because you're going through changes, nothing seems fixed at the moment. Um, just go with it, okay? That was Transarians. Going into Leo now. Leo, for Leos it's important this week, you may feel a little bit um, stuck, if that makes sense. It's important to look at patterns this week. If you feel that your life revolves around the same stuff, that no matter with who you work or with whom you live, um, you end up getting to the same type of situations, then there are patterns that need to be changed. Right? So this is a week of reflection where you look at things and um, it's important that you're not repeating the same formula that obviously doesn't quite work uh, every single time. Right? So that's important. The other thing is to pay attention this week to what you hear. Um, what has been said around you will give you loads of clues um, with regards to where to take your future, if that makes sense. right? And first and foremost, um, don't give up. Um, hang in there, you will get through this, um, but please look at patterns this week and if you find a pattern that you realize is an old one and it isn't quite working, let it go, right? Okay, that was Leo, going into Virgo. Virgos, quite important this week, um, you need a little bit of space 
Well, actually, you need loads of space. <laughs> you got the swan and the horse. And the swan is the animal that tells you, you can swim, you're waterproof. You don't have to wait for anything to happen and you don't have to wait for anyone um, with regards to <coughs> making changes in your life. And in order for you to look at your life and reflect on it, it would be good if you removed yourself from situations. That doesn't mean you have to walk away from it, but a little break would be quite good this week uh, for Virgos. Um, if possible, take a couple of step backs and spend time on your own elsewhere to really have a good think about, about life, if that makes sense, right? And that's all we have for Virgo. Going into Libra. One card fell out. Again, it's one of those things where we have had similar uh, messages from the guides in other star signs. For Libra this week, it's also important to listen to what's been said around you. I, I, I believe we had that with Leos. Um, it's, quite, it's quite important. Right? So Libras, it's important for you to listen this week to what's been said. Um, it's important that you pay attention to the information that is given to you because your second spirit guide is the kid fox. And the fox denotes that you are an old soul and you have uh, survived loads of things that, that initially felt difficult. But the kid fox is a fox that only lives in the desert where situations are harsh and where life is difficult. So you're losing a little bit of space um, within your relationships. Um, and it's time to, to listen to what's going on. Um, and also, and we had that earlier where, where it was important <laughs> to not necessarily pay that much attention to other people's advice. This is a good week for, for Libras to um, trust the people that you know well and that you uh, trust deeply. Um, ask them for advice. And if the advice resonates with you, take it. Okie dokie. That was Libra going into Scorpio. For Scorpio this week, it's important to pace yourself right. Um, don't give in to stress, don't go into panic mode, don't go into drama at all because you have the kingfisher and the hawk. And um, number one, you have two birds. And every time you have birds, plural, it means you can elevate yourself, see things from a higher point of view and pay attention to what the universe is telling you um, about um, your life and about situations that you find yourself in. Right? The kingfisher is an animal that basically um, denotes uh, that you get through stuff uh, no matter what happens. The kingfisher can work in a tree no matter how crooked the tree is. The tree represents your life. Um, so the analogy is that, that you will get there by just um, continuing uh, to keep going. It's quite important. The hawk, on the other hand, uses the upthrust of the air to glide. So the less stress you have, the less you are being pushed, uh, this week, the better this is, right? So pace yourself right, um, pay attention to your breathing, pay attention to your spirit guides, probably a good I idea uh, this week um, for, for Scorpios to um, join a circle, do some drumming, you know, do some Reiki exchange, whatever comes your way um, that gives you extra energy will be a good thing to have this week, right? And that's all we got for Scorpio. Going into Sagittarius. For Sagittarius it is important to realize that sometimes you are quite misunderstood 
that not everybody gets you, not everybody understands what what you're saying. And I don't mean this in, in, in a language way, obviously they get every word you're saying, but they're not necessarily able to follow you fully. And um, you don't need to explain yourself to people if you feel you want to go um, a specific route then that's your prerogative go there right um, you don't have to explain yourself if people don't get you they don't get you which uh, just means that they're not following you on on, on, on that route if that makes sense um, because you have the ring necked pheasant which is a, a, a bird that is quite intelligent but oftentimes misunderstood um, and then you have the caribou and the caribou has antlers which means as you continue on your journey without having to explain to people all the time what you're into and what you are about really um, you have protection you know you just keep going you will also attract like-minded people much better when you just keep going um, regardless of where they get whether people get where you're going and what you do if that makes sense and uh, the caribou is also an animal that um, no matter how heavy it is it doesn't really sink in when the terrain gets difficult. So what they're saying is, as long as you keep going, you will be just fine. But it's important this week to not have too many conversations um, about the basics of life and just get on with life, right? That was um, Sagittarius going into Capricorn. Second last star sign of the week. We have Capricorn and then we have Aquarius. And then that's another week. Uh, finished. Let's look at Capricorn. Interesting information information here for, for Capricorn because you have the bobcat and the arctic wolf. And that means that you have made quite a lot of progress um, with, with regards to teachings that life has got for you. You have made loads of progress um, and you're by no means where you've been years ago and months ago or sometimes even weeks ago you have made a lot of progress um, and yet somehow you are not stepping uh, or haven't fully stepped into your strengths and so the message is is to acknowledge that you're doing much better and that you have made progress and that it is time for you to take the reins of your life and lead again right that's really important, short and sweet for Capricorn, going into our final star sign of the day, which is Aquarius. I have to say this when I um, think back about this week um, and what we talked about so far, there is a clear pattern here. And the pattern really is that a lot of people are being asked to just be, um, regardless of what other people feel about it or, or about them. And um, Aquarius is the same, you've got a tiger and a deer. So what that really means is you have unique stripes, so you are unique. Um, and be unique by all means. What is important to remember here is that when it comes to big cats, the tiger has a lot of stamina that is actually unrivaled. Um, so the, the tiger has tons of stamina and what that means for you uh, Aquarius is you just keep going you stay individual you stay awesome and you will get through it it's not gonna end in disaster you will get through it and you will get to a new version of yourself and of you uh, by just uh, trusting that you have made progress and that um, you have yet so many to go if that makes sense this is in, in, in interesting and uh, especially true with regards to new studies and um, new beginnings with regards to relationships right um, so this is about realizing that you don't come to uh, that you don't bring nothing to your table if you are working somewhere new you bring skills you bring uh, yourself that will aid um, the group of people you actually end up working with. Same in a relationship. If you bring, if you start a new relationship, uh, enter a new relationship, um, you're not a nobody. You are, you are. What's the word? 
your experiences um, made you a specific person and you bring all that weight um, of learned um, and experienced uh, memories with you. That can only be a good thing for a new relationship. And remember your stamina, remember that you are unique and remember Aquarius that you have the tiger. Nobody messes with a tiger. Right? So, so be yourself, be truthful to yourself and, and bring who you truly are to your relationships, work-wise or love-life relationships, um, uh, all the same. And that's all we got time for this week. I, I know I said this in a couple of videos and, and it's the truth. I can't wait for the weather to improve. Once the weather gets really warm, we will record this outdoors, if that makes sense. For right now, it is what it is. Thank you all for watching. Remember, if you watch this on YouTube, why not subscribe? Um, go to the page here on Facebook, Energy and Star Sign Readings, and like the page. Um, and if you find that video, uh, as you obviously have, um, please share, because it's important uh, that we share the messages that the guides have with as many people as we possibly can. Right? Thank you very much. And I hope I see you all next week.